Hi, Amanda. It's Greg. I'm sure you recognize me. Um, you've actually done videos for me walking through houses over there in, uh, in Independence. Uh, so I guess this is my first video for you. Um, so as, as you, as you, as I told you in the text, I, I started my own agency. I left Facebook. It was driving me crazy being stuck in such a big organization and not being able to help people directly. Uh, so now I work with, um, with local businesses, uh, service-based businesses, usually. So contractors, plumbers, painters, uh, HVAC guys, electricians, you name it. Um, but you know, the, the, the techniques that I, that I practice work just as well on any business. So I'm super excited to show you, uh, what I can do here. Um, and take a run through your site and give you some suggestions as to uh, as to what you might do to um, get a little bit more visibility and traffic uh, for your site through Google. So um, quick overview here. Um, <clears throat> getting to the top of Google is obviously super important. If you're not on the first page of Google, you can you can just assume that you're nowhere. The top three results uh, in 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 Google get uh, over 90% of all the clicks. And if you're also in this Google map pack here, you have a double chance of attracting all those, uh, all those eyeballs. So Amanda, by way of overview, there are three things that, um, that I work on. Number one is content. So, so the words and images throughout your site, but more importantly, importantly, the quality and the quantity of the content. Um, secondly, the backlinks. So, uh, this is this is a bit of a popularity contest. So uh, obviously the internet is a web, and the more uh, sites that link to your site, uh, as long as they are trusted sites, the more site that is the more trust that is by association passed to to you, and gives Google confidence that they're pushing up uh, high quality sites, trusted sites, to the top of search. Uh, the third thing is citations. So the number of times that your business name, address, and phone number are mentioned on directories, uh, local directories and national directories, for example, uh, yellowpages.com, uh, Yelp, et cetera, et cetera. And there are hundreds. In fact, there are thousands. Um, so without further ado, let's get into content. So here's your site. Uh, I'm very familiar with it. Um, <clears throat> it's a good looking site and it's got easy navigation. Uh, Google does care about the performance of a site, so so how quickly um, uh, a site loads. And if I go in here and uh, have a look at your images, um, you've done a pretty good job of of naming your your images, for example. Well, sometimes you see a random string of text here, but you know you can you can you can do more with this to um, uh, to make the site perform better, to be more relevant in the eyes of Google's algorithms. So we're talking about content in terms of quality and quantity. From a quantity point of view, you want at least 1,500 words on your homepage and probably more. You want to make sure that you are at least matching and beating your, your top competitor uh, when it comes to volume. Um, I did a quick count for, for your site here, Amanda, almost 1,700 words. So I would suggest that um, that's a little shy of where you want to be. Um, you'd probably, I mean, I haven't, I haven't done a word count for your closest competitor, but we, we will look at their site in a second. But I'd, I'd imagine you want sort of a couple thousand more, and you'd want some some service pages talking particularly about uh, maybe different services that you that you offer, um, if that was appropriate, um, because that helps with quantity. But there's a very important quality aspect to the content that uh, we'll talk about now. So when we talk about quality, uh, you want to make sure that the, the the words written into your site match keywords. Keywords, as I'm sure you know, are the terms and the, the, the words and phrases that a potential customer using Google search is typing into Google um, to find a, a mortgage lender in Kansas City. Um, so you want to make sure that you write exactly those keywords throughout your throughout your site in an organic fashion. Let me give you an example here. So I typed in mortgage lenders, Kansas City, Missouri, um, a very common search. Um, <clears throat> and, and the results shown to me as follows. So this is the map pack. You want to be here. Um, you also want to be here in the organic search. So I went up and pulled, I think it's first mortgage solutions. Uh, yeah, first mortgage solutions. I want to show you what what uh, keywords they've got in their site, and this will give you an idea of what you'd want to write into your site. Okay, so what we what we want to see uh, the kind of keyword you want to be using, Amanda, are what we call 
buyer intent location based keywords. What I mean by that is as follows. So I'm going to have to scroll down here to find the first one. Here we go. Mortgage Kansas City. So people are not searching for mortgages for fun. They're using these keywords, uh, keyword phrases to actually find um, a mortgage broker in Kansas City. Okay, so that's an example of one. Uh, we come further down. Kansas City mortgage companies, mortgage companies in Kansas City, and further down, uh, Kansas City mortgage, Kansas City mortgages. So uh, you can see this number here represents the number of times per month that this phrase is used. Okay. Uh, and it all adds up to, uh, to to a lot of volume. Now, I don't think that they are doing as well as they could do. Some of these uh, most important keywords are buried further down the page. When you write your content, you want to highlight the most important buyer intent, location-based keywords into your into your content so that Google knows exactly what you're talking about. But look how effective this has been. So here's your here's one of your competitors. Okay, um, uh, this is First Mortgage Solutions. They were in the map pack. Um, right here, First Mortgage Solutions. Now they enjoy uh, a little over 250 uh, uh, organic visitors to their site every month, okay? I'm gonna take a look at your site here, um, squareonesolutions.com. So, so I've got the website address right. Now I don't know whether, and I know this is not a new site, so I wonder whether it's just simply not indexed correctly with Google or whatever the case may be. Um, but what I see here is zero organic keywords and zero organic traffic, um, which is to say that if this information is correct, you're not getting anyone organically finding your services. And this is something that you really want to change. And I guess the question is, you know, with, um, with you know, a little over 250 uh, interested potential customers visiting you every month, how many of those could you convert? And what does that look like for you business-wise? Okay, so that's sort of, this is where the value of, of this kind of work starts to come in. Okay, so that's that's content. And it's, it's really uh, one of the most important pieces. The second most important piece is backlinks. As I mentioned, this is a, uh, the internet is a popularity contest and the more sites you're linked with, the more Google might trust you as long as those sites are also trusted too. Uh, again, I'm looking at, at, at your data here on this uh, in this tool that I have. I don't see any backlinks. It could be an error. Um, this, this, it could be an indexing error. Who knows? But anyway, um, moving over to First Mortgage to show how it could be done. They have 244 backlinks from over 60 other websites, okay, which is driving uh, site power. Uh, and that site power drives site trust. Um, the strategy here is to figure out what these domains are, uh, what these backlinks are, and then reach out to these these websites and request that they link back to your site. Okay, it's an arduous process. You you usually you submit forms, you make a request. Sometimes you have to pay for links, um, but anyway, it's it's a really valuable process because it does drive power to your site. Uh, so that's backlinks. The the last thing, Amanda, is citations, and citations will will earn you up into this uh, map pack here. Uh, this is the Google, Google Map Pack. So the first thing you, you need to do is to claim your Google My Business listing. Okay. Once you've done that, you can then receive reviews from customers, which are very powerful. But you can also run citations against your Google My Business. Um, the strategy here, again, is manual. So you, you need to figure out what those relevant directories are that you can list your business in. Uh, and, and really, it's just a volume game. So make sure that they are quality but beat your nearest competitor by at least 100 citations. Uh, that then leaves no doubt in the minds of the Google algorithm that uh, you are a trusted relevant site and you're, you're likely to earn this top spot here and then start gathering reviews, which is another conversion driver uh, when, when customers are, when potential customers make a search and they're figuring out which one of these to click into, okay? Um, <clears throat> so that's it, Amanda. I really hope you find this useful. So summary, content, quality and quantity, Get those keywords in there. Do some research, figure out what the keywords need to be. Find the ones that are easiest to rank against with the highest volume um, and write those with, with uh, emphasis into your site. Second, backlinks. Figure out, uh, figure out those other, those other uh, domains that your competitors might be linking to. Reach out to them and link to them and that will drive site power. Third is citations and your Google My Business listings. So uh, claim your listing. Uh, and start running citations, okay? Uh, high volume to, to beat your customer, uh, to beat your competitors. Uh, so there you go, Amanda. 
Um, really, really happy to do this video for you. I hope that you find it useful. So what next? If you have a, a um, uh, an internet marketing agency that you work with, by all means, share this with them and see what they see what they think of it. Um, if not, or, or you're looking for a change, obviously, I'd, I'd love to help you out. So um, I'm going to send this video across to you. Love your feedback. And uh, yeah, I, I look forward to being able to chat with you guys again shortly. So uh, thank you, Amanda. All the best.